Guys, I'm just gonna help you out here. Let this be a reminder that you have to drive it home stupid. This is the result of jumping the Cayenne however many feet off the ground. Uh, hit a jump at about 40. And these struts could not take it. As you can see, they're all bent right there. That's on both sides, actually. Yeah. So this did not go well for me. I'm gonna either limp it back to Salt Lake or to Vegas and then have it fixed from there. But this is just the kind of thing you deal with when you wanna wheel hard. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry that I didn't film anything before this, but here's a photo of the jump. And now we're out here and then Mike's Cayenne is over there and uh, there's some motorcycle guys jumping over it. So this is my trek back home or wherever with my now lowered Cayenne on 35s. Look at that fitment. Look at that. Okay, so I showed you guys the only photo that I have currently. I want to get this video out quickly. Uh, the only photo that I have currently of the car jumping. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see more in the future when I get those photos. Sadly, there's no video. So the front bumper is hanging off a lot. This is the uh, washer fluid reservoir uh, coolant T. There's supposed to be two other lines here. The headlight actually managed to fall apart or this, uh, this silver surround. So I will be removing the whole lens actually, it looks like. Um, yeah. And then underneath the strut is bent and then the Eurowise upper control arms are bent. Um, the coolant lines need to be rerouted because they kind of fell off. I'm also having trouble burping the system of any air and the car is also overheating anytime I run it. So I'm not exactly sure what to do. It's basically just going to sit at a shop until it's perfect and ready to go again. Eurowise is going to help me out with new upper control arms and new stock springs until I get by and can get my locked off-road uh, coilovers. And then FCP Euro, being the amazing company that they are, they're going to help me out with some new axles. Uh, so hopefully I'll have this thing back on the road shortly after SEMA. But I'm going to go back to Salt Lake City, grab my Turbo S, a new car that I haven't talked about yet, and then head down to SEMA and spend the week there. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, just got to get it back on the road soon.